Lord, we acknowledge you as our God and our Father who cares for us and loves us unconditionally. Thank you for the opportunity to learn at your feet. Jehovah, we pray that you may speak to us with a voice that we can understand and hear. And help us not just to be hearers, but doers of your word. Through Christ our Lord and Savior. Amen. It's Friday. We thank God. We thank God for the blessing of the rain in the course of the week. Indeed, God is thinking well of us. We continue in our study of the themes in the book of Nehemiah. And today we look into the theme on leadership. And leadership is all about influence. Nehemiah was just a common man in a unique position because God strategically puts his people in particular positions for special purposes. He was a cupbearer to the Persian king. He had little power, but great influence. Nehemiah is a model of committed, God-honoring leadership. And as we study, we'll, we'll, many, we'll learn many useful lessons for today. Before the exile, Israel had its own language, king, army, and identity. But at this particular point, they had lost of all this. And what they lacked most was leadership. There was no one to show them where to start and what direction to take as they tried to build their city. Throughout the impossible task, Nehemiah displayed unusual leadership. Notes. A good leader must be a man of character, persistent in prayer. He must also be a brilliant planner, organizer, and motivator, calm in the face of opposition and capable of being bluntly honest with his people when they sin, like Nehemiah did and was. Are you a good leader? Remember, God has strategically put you in positions you are for special purposes. Purpose to be become a good leader as you continue learning like Nehemiah did. In the name of God, Father, Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen.